Tennis has been one of the world's most popular sports, hosting multiple tournaments with 258 professional tennis players during the summer. Technology in tennis has come a long way ever since it was invented. It was created in 1872 after adapting some mechanics from a game back in the 12th to 13th century called Jeu de Pomme, which French monks played in their monasteries. When tennis was first introduced, the tennis rackets were heavy, made out of wood, and the head of the tennis racket was small. The strings were made of cat gut, which were found inside sheep intestines. The tennis rackets were not strong, and tennis players would have to spend time and resources protecting them from cracking to make them last longer. The courts were rectangular shaped and they were made out of grass. Also, the tennis nets were made out of twine and cord, which needed to be more durable and required a lot of maintenance. In 1968, the tennis racket was remodeled by Wilson, a tennis racket company. They changed the material of the racket to steel which made the racket lighter and made the head of the tennis racket larger. As a result, tennis players were able to move around the court faster, were able to hit the tennis balls to go faster and experience less shock absorption. Today, people can customize the tennis rackets to their liking to maximize their performance. In 1986, as soon as colored television was invented, the tennis ball's color changed from white to fluorescent yellow. It was done so people who were watching tennis on TV could see the ball more clearly. Today, tennis balls are still yellow and they can be purchased in cans which help the balls bounce better. In addition, in 1978, the Deco Turf tennis court was invented and it was widely used in tennis tournaments. Deco turf courts were made out of acrylic, rubber and slice which is put on top on a, of a concrete floor. Also, in 2008, plexicushion tennis courts were first used in the Australian Open. Plexicushion is made out of rubber, latex and plastic particles which create a smooth, comfortable surface for tennis players to play on. The inventions of these new courts changed how tennis was played since the ball's bounce and speed are different in each court. Plexi cushion and deco turf are better than grass courts since they require low maintenance, resistant to the weather and usable after rain. In 1937, the first time tennis was streamed on TV was the first Wimbledon tournament. Being able to watch tennis matches without having to leave your home increased the amount of participation and spectators. As technology progressed, people are now able to watch any tennis match anytime and anywhere, as phones, laptops and streaming devices were invented. Back before television was invented, people had to travel pay to come and watch tennis matches, which happened before a certain time or day. In 2006, Hawkeye technology was first used in tennis tournaments. It is a computer system that tracks the ball's trajectory and does this through seven cameras. It is used when the tennis player is not happy with the Empire's call and can appeal to use the Hawkeye camera to see if their call was right or not. Before this camera was invented, it was common for empires to make the wrong call on who won the point. The camera minimizes human error and can accurately see if the ball went in or out. In 1916, tennis shoes were invented by the US rubber company. Tennis shoes were made so tennis players are able to move around faster and slide on tennis courts. It also helps reduce foot pain, discomfort and blisters which may impact the tennis player's performance. Before tennis shoes were invented, tennis players had to play tennis with normal shoes which were not suitable for the tennis court and minimise their mobility. Today, tennis players can modify their tennis shoes to their liking to maximise their performance. Lately, there have been these future developments which have massive potential and impact on tennis. Artificial intelligence can help tennis players improve their performance by analysing data from wearable technology to identify strengths and weaknesses in their technique. The wearable technology could be fitness trackers which can measure heart rate, fatigue, how well and how hard they hit the tennis balls. AI would have a massive impact on tennis since it effectively improves performance compared to coaches coaching tennis players. In addition, augmented reality is a future development which may have a massive impact on tennis. AR is technology that can generate images in the real world through people's vision. Tennis players can use augmented reality through glasses which can tell the statistics on how well they are playing so it can let them know if they have to work harder or less. 
It can help tennis players prepare and train before their matches and maximize their performance. Unfortunately, the glasses wouldn't be accessible to everyone due to its high price. It would create an uneven playing field between rich and poor players which give the rich players an advantage. Finally, smart tennis courts and equipment may have a massive potential and impact on tennis. Smart tennis courts and equipment can have sensors that can track player movement, the path of the ball, and how many forehands, backhands or shots that went out. The sensors can collect data and analyze them into statistics. It can give tennis players instant feedback while they're playing a match, which will help them refine their performance. And it can engage the audience by adding features such as statistics and data. If smart tennis courts are used in tennis tournaments, there will be no need for an empire since it has sensors that can detect if a tennis player has lost or won a point, which would make the game more fair. Overall, technology in tennis has evolved over time and there are new innovations that can make the game more fun and fair.